Hey guys, welcome back to another weather video. Today, we are talking about a severe weather risk for the next several days. Okay, there is a potential for a severe weather outbreak once again. So tomorrow is looking significant. Be aware. I'm back to the YouTube platform, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. I can't post on YouTube till 9.30 at night, so I'll be back home around 9.30, so maybe Friday evening. I'll get out of my uniform, and I'll be able to post on YouTube. So I will definitely be posting on YouTube again late tomorrow night. So just let you all know ahead of time that I will definitely try to post tomorrow. Try to, but I can't. I can't. So what? I got a big thing coming up tomorrow. Just let you all know. So this is why I am 100% doing a video right now. So. There's a significant severe, severe risk that's coming in, okay? There's that risk of strong to potentially severe thunderstorms, okay? There's that risk between Tulsa, Oklahoma, so strong tornadoes are all hazards of possible. A moderate risk may be issued soon, pretty much. So a moderate risk might be issued, so we might have a 15% chance of tornado, tornadoes. So that's why we're staying weather aware, and we're watching out for all kinds of, there's a freeze warning, okay, but we have a summer forecast, but we don't want to see a summer forecast right now. We're on the mood, but this is where we're definitely going to go. AccuWeather's got something very new you guys have to see, okay, you, you've never seen this before, okay, there's that... What is going on? Camera. What is that? Oh no, but I can't, nobody can see that, can they? Oh, what? There's a problem with the video. There's a big problem today. Let's write this up. All right, there's that risk of severe weather, all right? There's that chance for ice, strong tornadoes in parts of Topeka. There is a also a severe weather threat near Chicago, so that is crazy to believe that we have something like that near Chicago. And here we go again, another risk, okay? There is that risk, okay? So we are watching this a big severe weather outbreak, okay? We're going to talk about into next week. See what the Northeast is also going to see as well. I don't know what, but we're going to the Canadian model, not because it's short, because they got something we want to see. <laughs> That's something we got to track. Okay, storms are popping up today, but this is Friday. Okay, Mill Ball Day. Okay, we have we have this low pressure system. Okay, storms are going to form along this dry line and raise off to the east towards uh, Oklahoma. Okay, we're gonna look into next week. Oh, yeah, we got some thunderstorms, some isolated cell here. Like I said, Monday could be thunderstorm day for us. But, yeah, I see I see the forecast where I live at next week. Lots and lots of thunderstorms. So we could each, like, look at this. Every day, Pennsylvania has a chance of potentially seeing thunderstorms every day next week. That's why I'm not severe, but every day next week, we're looking at the potential for thunderstorms. It's Guys, it's May. Get used to this crap. It's what you see in the month of May. Look at that. Thun look, look at that pink color. Oh my. Thunderstorms. Again, see what I'm saying? The South is going to see a lot of thunderstorms, okay? But look, there's that. There's a storm explosion here. Let's get that close. There's that storm explosion down here. Look at this storm explode, okay? But we're going to talk about the current risk of severe weather, okay? Okay, there's those cells that pop up around Oklahoma on Friday. Friday morning, it storms pop up. There goes a line of supercells coming in through a couple of storms there. Let's check out the Rip and Frozen. And let's check out the... Let's go to the GFS. Or let's go to the Radar. Okay, we gotta see these cells. Okay, that pop up. 
Yep, there you go. Look at that. There's those cells that pop up. Okay, that's even, it ain't a real high. But we're walking for the northeast because there is that potential for thunderstorms every day next week. Like, come on. Like, what do you think? Like, what? It, what uh oh, what? Let's go. We got, oh no. Guys, we have base snow. What? Please. That is not what you want to see. I like this model better because. Because it doesn't show snow. I hope it, this comes to fruition. It does, but guess what? It barely even hits us. See that? But this is what we are concerned about. This is what we're, we're, concer we're, we're concerned about this severe weather outbreak next week. So we have to pay attention to this very closely. Okay, a potential dangerous severe weather outbreak is expected next week. And it's. So, more rounds of severe weather, thunderstorms, heavy rain, okay, there's that thunderstorms popping up now. So, we're definitely watching these areas that got flooded, so we're definitely seeing more chances for severe weather, okay, to take hold, okay. Have you seen this Space Age roofing product that lowers energy bills without solar panels or batteries? So, there's that risk for tomorrow. See that area there, base guys. I can subscribe. So, this video is going to be a lot shorter than the others, but I'm not going to go ahead and six. But this is what we're watching for. So, the areas that are impacted to two million and in the enhanced seven million in the slayer risk is five million in the marginal. Okay, this is going to get bigger. You remember the cities that were rapid city last week? Oh, yeah, that right. That was insane. We haven't seen a moderate risk yet this year. I mean, we have, but not in this part of the country. So we're going to have to watch the next several days for multiple chances of severe weather, okay? We have a, also have a chance for uh, Saturday. We have a chance for Springfield, Illinois, and all that areas to get a risk. We also talk about the next Sunday. Sunday and Monday. Okay, look at that. That is a very Dallas, Oklahoma. Lubbock. Look at this. Plains. That's where the risk is focused. These these day four and day five are showing the risk of severe weather, okay? There could be a little bit of severe weather in parts of this area they're talking about, too. But we're watching out for multiple chances. Of severe weather this week. Multiple chances. There's a slight risk today. There is a mesoscale scale for uh <coughs> isolated hell and damaging winds. Okay. There's that slight risk today. Storms are expected to develop along a dry line this afternoon along this marginal risk area. We're gonna have to watch this area. But I think the slight risk could have got a little bit bigger than it, it really is. But this is looking more bad, okay? <coughs> so, be <coughs> stay weather aware. Tomorrow, stay weather aware the next couple days. I'll try to post tomorrow. If I can't, I can't. I'll post tomorrow night around like 9 30, 10 o'clock. I'm going to get my uniform off. And that's that's it for you guys. I'm going to go back to the date date two outlook. Boom. Yeah, I haven't seen a slight risk in our area yet this year, but I'm gonna look gonna look forward in the next couple of days and see if something happens. But make sure you guys like and subscribe. To the YouTube channel, a significant severe weather outbreak expected this week. Like and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Follow for more. There's that risk of tornadoes. Be aware, guys. The wind is that. I think the wind's gonna get greater than a fifteen percent. That that's gonna get higher. That's gonna get higher. The wind has to be high too, but hell is like 
very significant, okay? There could be a water risk for hail and tornadoes. I'm looking at wind, just nothing really. But that could all change by tomorrow, so make sure you guys like and subscribe. A new update will be out tomorrow evening. I'll try to get you an update. If I can hope it, I'll probably get an update before, so. See you guys tomorrow. Bye, dirty.